Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make this effect in Photoshop. Basically how to melt objects in general. Um, let's jump right into it. So let's say we have this image and we want the our light to melt off and melt away. We first have to make a selection of the area we want to melt. I just press W on my keyboard, which will bring up the quick selection tool. And I'm going to make a rough selection of this. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you want it to be more precise, you can just use the pen tool. So let's go around our object. Once you've made your selection, just click selection, press OK. Now I'm going to press Command J on a Mac. Otherwise, I think it's Control J on Windows. This will duplicate your selection onto a new layer. So, with that in mind, with the top, uh, with your copy selected, um, your top layer, just go to Filter and Liquify. And now we're going to start to have fun with this. I'm going to start by zooming in a little bit and making my brush smudge brush. Uh, smaller and I'm basically going to start liquefying this now remember we don't want to distort our the top part because we want it to melt downwards so it's not gonna melt the top part it's gonna like come down all the gooey gooeyness and melted stuff is gonna melt downwards not upwards so make sure to leave that as is I'm then going to zoom out a little bit, maybe make my brush bigger, and I'm going to add, start adding a little zigzag motion just to make it feel like it's actually like melting. I'm going to melt all the way to the end. I'm going to do the same thing here and I'm going to spread it out like this and then I'm going to fill out all this bottom part something like this. I feel like I'm pretty happy with how this is looking so I'm just going to press OK and that that's basically it. If you want it to feel like it's in front of your other objects a little bit more just double click on it and add some drop shadow Um, you can edit the settings of it, the distance, the size, etc. And that's basically it. Um, it's pretty cool looking. You can do this with any type of object. It doesn't have to be a lamp post or whatever. It can be eyes. It can be uh, whatever you want. And as you saw, it's super straightforward and easy, but the effect is really, really cool. And yeah, that's it. I'll leave the links in the description below for my texture packs. I've got a new plastic texture pack that is live from today um, and it's really, really cool. So I recommend that one. Um, and that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.